Hello, everyone. I'm Virginia Pradhan, the host of Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan. That is every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time. You can listen on Spotify podcast, Apple podcast, and Edify podcast network. And of course, you can watch it on our YouTube channel. We are so glad you're here. We love uh, your um, your questions, and uh, we love to hear from you. As you all know, the podcast is called Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan, and it's based on my book, Saving My Assassin, and my experience in, uh, in Romania and here in America, because God put in each one of us skills and talents to be leaders in our sphere of influence, in our home, in our business. We also base our Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan podcast on welcoming courageous leaders on different areas that will influence us and train us and share with us how they started and how they are courageous leaders in the area. And one of those courageous leaders is uh, the um, actor, director, writer, and producer, Tony Lobianco. He started his career uh, in the Academy Award-winning film, The French Connection. Tony has been in over 100 films, He directed um, over five television shows. He will speak, and I'm so excited that he will speak about his new movie with uh, Ray Romano uh, called Somewhere in Queens. And there was um, a premiere in June at the Tribeca Film Festival and will be released soon. Tony and his beautiful wife, Elise, are working as co-executive producer of a film project on the Shrub. Uh, Tony is involved and his wife are involved in many, many um, non-profit organizations. And Tony is also a lifetime member of the Actor Studio. Tony... I'm so glad you are back. This is not your first appearance here. We had you before. And as we promised, we need to have you back. (laughs) So welcome back to our podcast, Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan. You indeed are a courageous leader. Can you tell us about a little bit about your new movie with uh, Ray Romano, Somewhere in Queens? I know you, when you shared with me when I was at your home, beautiful home, farm, you told me about the the movie being a movie based on relationships and why that is important, especially right now, when the culture and the liberals are trying to destroy family and to destroy relationship and making us uh, like enemies uh, against each other. So uh, welcome to our show. Please tell us your part of the the story. Well, thank you so much, Virginia, for having me. Um, It's uh, it's a pleasure, of course, uh, that we're friends, and and that makes it even even better (laughs) Uh, to be speaking with you. This this film, Somewhere in Queens, uh, that Ray Romano uh, wrote, uh, directed, produced, and starred in. And somewhere in Queens is where he was born and and his family lives. And it's based loosely on his life. And uh, the other actors that are in this movie is Laurie Metcalf. She's a wonderful actress. Uh, Jennifer Esposito. uh, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. uh, uh, Sadie uh, Stanley. Sadie Stanley and Jacob Ward are the two young uh, juvenile leaders uh, leader in the in the movie, along with uh, Ray and, and Laurie. And the movie is a family movie. It is about relationships. It is about the human experiences, which, as you mentioned, are seem to be the, uh, long gone in our in our country. Uh, with uh, not only it 
being done on purpose uh, from a, a governmental kind of kind of situation, but also from a mechanical point of view of putting those uh, uh, computers and and uh, telephones and so on in our hands, which divide us and do not uh, make us interact with each other. So I'm very happy to be in a movie that is family oriented. This movie is, uh, I, I play Ray Romano and uh, Sebastian Maniscalco's father. And uh, I, we're in a construction business. And my whole family, in fact, Ray works for me, uh, Sebastian works for me, and Sebastian's two sons work for me in this construction business. And uh, so, yeah, so, so the expectation is that Ray's son will work for me. And, uh, but Ray, hello. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> We have a, we have a, a neighbor, <laughs> unfortunately. Sorry about that. Uh, so, if you um, can speak a little bit louder, that would oh, be great. Okay, fine. the uh, The film um, is uh, is about uh, Ray, who wants who lives through his son. Basically, his son's a basketball player, and Ray. Uh, goes to his games, every game, and and he gets a great deal deal of cheering from the from the audiences that keep cheering for the father. And he basks in that. And he lives in a bit of a fantasy. Uh, he quotes uh, uh, Rocky from the from the movie Rocky uh, with uh, Sylvester Stallone. And he quotes from, from that movie. So he lives in, in a bit of a fantasy. Now he's, he works for me, and he's always late. He uh, does a lousy job on the job. He, his head is not in, in the business. And, and so when his son uh, graduates from high school, uh, the expectation is that it'll, it'll come and work for the company, uh, as everybody else does, but it makes very good money. Now, along comes a scout. And he, he sees that the kid is a good basketball player. And he thinks he can get a some kind of a scholarship in a small college. Uh, and my idea is what, what, he's not going to play professionally. He's not good enough to play professionally. So why is he wasting time going to this college and playing basketball when he could be coming and working for big money? But uh, that's more of a realistic uh, point of view. And so there's a, that battle. Now also, the young lady, uh, uh, Sadie Stanley, this little actress, uh, uh, he, finds, he finds her as a girlfriend, you see? And uh, she's more of a free spirit. And he sort of falls in love because it's his, his first love, uh, the, the boy. And uh, she doesn't want to get that close so fast. She wants to go away and, and see the world, you see. So it's a big problem for him and big problem for Ray. Because he, the boy will not play basketball anymore because he's so despondent. Now, so Ray has got to get this girl to uh, uh, sort of go back with him, back with the boy to, to keep his spirits up. It's a very complicated, wonderful movie. It's a... It's a and, and I don't want to tell you the whole movie because then you won't want to go see it. <laughs> but uh, the, the Ray, Ray and his wife, Lori Metcalf, uh, they have a, a uh, she has her own problems too. But she doesn't want the boy to leave home, as, as I guess no mom does. And, and uh, so she's got her own problems. She's very suspicious of the girl, the girlfriend. She doesn't want him being pulled away. And she has her own her own uh, physical problems as well, too, and and it, it's a very it's a very intricate uh, human human movie that people can really relate to, and that's what I like about the film. You know, it's a uh, so so I'm, it's a pleasure to be in it. Now, the movie opened at the Tribeca Film Festival 
it did very, very well. Ray is, uh, as they say, producer, writer, and uh, director. And so he's negotiating with the sort of film companies that are interested in, in uh, distribu distributing the film. And uh, I haven't heard when and, and how it's going uh, at the moment, but I will inquire very shortly. <laughs> So. It's very interesting that you touch very important things about um, this movie, but not um, not only the movie. It's about family and family relationship. And sometimes, if you don't, we don't pay attention as a family. We will have, like you mentioned here, about the family expectation. It's not only family expectation about their relationship in in the family, but family expectation about the business. Yes, uh, it's very interesting that the father lives through his son. The son doesn't want this, and and we have to make sure that if we have an expectation about relationship in family, we build that relationship and that expectation for a long time. And if that doesn't come uh, to fruition, as uh, the child, boy or girl, will want to continue the business, we have to understand to let it go and let them follow their dreams. And it's very interesting that uh, you also talk about the father once. He, I believe he is more interested in um, uh, expectation and relationship in business, but mom is more interested in family relationship. And as many mothers, they see their son still uh, a baby and suspicious about the girlfriend yes. uh, because he will pay more attention to the girlfriend. And in that area, mothers have to learn to release the child, to pray for, to give them advice if they need that advice, but not. Um, and many times you have to adopt the, the girlfriend to know her more and let the son to decide this um, relationship. Right. One other thing that you talk about in the movie, it's very interesting, and I am excited to see this because the movie reaches the work ethics in the family. You know, sometimes when one of your child will work in a family business, will come late to work will and not have good uh, work ethics because they might think that they can go away with those things when uh, a stranger will not do those things. So um, uh, those things can be corrected. Uh, can you First, you have to be aware of them, and then you have to correct those work ethics because... Those work ethics that your son or your daughter in your own business will, will, will have will reflect later on in their relationship with other businesses. So it's very, very interesting. The other thing that you beautifully um, um, related to us about this movie, and again, I'm excited to this, is young people try to... Uh, run to marriage maybe too fast. They don't. They don't wait for waiting and see uh, if the person that they they are in love right now they have the same values. If uh, um, they want to meet a family and so forth, like the old and important tradition that we used to have uh, in in America. So um, those are very very important. Um, points that you made about the movie, and I am I am so so uh, determined to go and see the movie. Not only to see you, you are such a no. good actor, and I want to see how you play the the role of the father. And um, I, I admire your courage to take into uh, this role, which is so important because for many young people. And people are of uh, ages, they buy into this, uh, what the culture tells them. Oh, the grand 
fa- father doesn't know anything. The father doesn't know anything. But this movie brings what is missing in our culture, the value of the father and the grandfather that they have and they can bring to this generation and also how the this uh, new generation thinks so we can learn and relate to them mm. so um, yeah. i'm grateful for what you share with us thank you thank you you well i, I hope everybody is as, as enthusiastic as you are about uh, the values that we share and and will come and see this film because i don't like films that uh, you walk away from and think about, well, what am I going to go eat? Oh, so and so. I like people to think about what they just saw and talk about that subject matter. And I also like it to be uh, educational so that they learn something from the film uh, that will help them in their lives. This is what is something characteristic about you, that you are courageous to go with something new. You are courageous to bring something to to people to learn and think about, even if uh, it's not uh, something that maybe you think, oh, uh, go with the, what the culture will, uh, will ask in order to make money. You want to make an impact, and Ray Romano, uh, does the same thing and you are associated with a team that is looking to invest in people to bring values and that's that's what I call courageous leaders and you are mm. one of them yeah. and I am I am grateful I am grateful for for that and I am again so excited I want to see the movie and I want to recommend to everyone uh, uh, about the movie, and as soon as we have information, we're going to put on on the podcast, and we're going to put it on all the social media. Yeah, so, you know, Tony, the, the the kind of conversation that Ray seems to be having having with these studios is that they're very interested in the movie. However, they don't want to release it against the big movies. You know, when they say the big movies, uh, you know, the big Top Top Gun. Uh, and you name it, all those big uh, Marvel movies. Uh, they don't want they don't want it to get lost, you know, in, in that. So uh, that's the battle now in terms of when they're going to want to release it. So that's what the discussion is about. That's mm. another thing about a courageous leader. A courageous leader doesn't go with the flow. It uh, it takes wisdom. It takes uh, searching. Where for when the audience is ready for creates it and waits for when the the um, audience is ready for. Obviously, Ray Romano invested lots of money on this movie, so I'm grateful for that. Well, Tony, I want to thank you so very much for coming again to our podcast, sharing your heart about you being an actor, being a courageous leader, and investing in people, investing in people. I'm so grateful for what you are doing. And um, again, we're going to bring you again because you have so much values. And um, we, we're going to bring you again to talk about how you became a successful actor by overcoming um, all the obstacles in, in your life. So thank we you. are grateful for that. And we thank you so very much for sharing with us about this wonderful movie. And um, we, are just, we want to thank you for that. Thank you very, very much, Virginia. Uh, you know, b- being with you is like being with family. And uh, that's the way we feel about each other. I know <clears throat> having spent so much time with each other. And uh, I, uh, I'm very grateful for that. And I hope that kind of, of uh, relationship, you know, permeates uh, our country. And we're missing, we're missing a great deal of family feeling and uh, I just had a whole bunch of family here, as we always have at my at my house here in Elise. We had uh, my brothers here in, with his wife, and also his uh, my brother's uh, 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 grandchildren were here with his children. And so we had a, eight eight people here uh, having you know dinners together. That is and wonderful. Then, that is <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so very much, Tony. Thank you so very much. <laughs> We are so glad that we always can bring courageous leaders like 
like Tony Lobianco, we are so grateful for you be, being here. Please follow our courageous leadership, follow for free our courageous leadership with Virginia Prodan. That is every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock. You can listen to our podcast on Spotify, uh, Podbean, Apple Podcast, and Edify uh, Podcast Network. And of course, you can watch it on uh, YouTube. Don't forget to send us your questions your concerns, everything that you want us to uh, talk about. And, of course, if you know a courageous leader, give us information about that person and we will include in our podcast. Until next time, be blessed and see you later. Bye-bye.